It is a somber milestone in the war between Israel and Hamas. Tomorrow marks one year since the surprise attack on Israel that launched a full scale war and a humanitarian crisis. It's a one year milestone of heartache spread around the world, including here in Sacramento. October 7 became a new date in the Jewish calendar. Mariela Sokolovsky is the executive director of the Jewish Federation of the Sacramento region and will be one of hundreds gathering on the Capitol steps to honor the lives lost October 7th. It's not a rally, it's a memorial. We are remembering the people, our loved ones, the people that we lost. Sokolovsky is an Israeli American whose father lives in Israel. The year long conflict has been dangerous for him. He spends a lot of his time in a, in a shelter, in a bomb shelter. As Israel retaliates against Hamas, its assault on Gaza has drawn worldwide condemnation, with tens of thousands of innocent Palestinians caught in the bombings. Zana Elkara says she has lost more than 50 family members in the siege. I have family who starved. I had family who were just stuck under the rubble. Like it's just, it's countless stories and we, we hear different things every day. Elkara is just one of several thousand Palestinian supporters who converged in San Francisco Sunday. You know, the situation is escalating. I myself came out here because I'm just angry, I'm upset, and I just didn't want to stay inside. We have to come out together. We have to build solidarity. This international conflict and the pain hitting households here. Now, one year later, the end is not near. I think that it will bring back everything that happened and also the understanding that was, we're still in it, right? We're still in it. We did reach out to the Sacramento Police Department to ask about extra staffing tomorrow for October 7th, and they said they are closely monitoring trends across the country and have additional resources this weekend and tomorrow as well.